Hello everyone and welcome back to Freedom Through Confidence. My name is Ben and in this video today I'm going to be talking to you about how to move on from an ex. Now my first major breakup hit me really really hard. It kind of came out of the blue even though I definitely should have expected it uh, but it really blindsided me and it caused me a lot of pain. And so I spent a lot of time really trying to figure out how it is that one can actually move on from an ex in a way that isn't going to completely derail your life and how to kind of get back on track as fast as possible. And through working with friends and other people who have come to me for help when it has been the end of their relationships, I've been able to learn a few key principles that I want to share with you in this video today to help you learn how to move on from an ex in a way that is going to be healthy for you and that is going to set you up for future success, not just in your relationships, but also in your life as well. So if you do enjoy this video, if you find it useful, make sure that you do leave a like on it because it really helps the channel to grow. It really helps to let the YouTube algorithm know that this is a helpful video for other people to see. So make sure you leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it. And let's just jump into the subject of this video today. Now, of course, there are many, many ways to get over an ex. There is the rebound relationship, one night stands, gathering all of their belongings and burning them out in the back garden. There's any number of ways that you can get over someone else. But over the years, I've been able to compile just a few of the key principles that I believe are going to help you to move on from your ex in a more positive and healthy way and in a way that is going to set you up for more success. So the first thing is a point of self-acceptance and that is to understand that you are not in control of your emotions and when something bad happens to you like a hard breakup you are going to feel the way that you feel about it. You might fall into a period of intense sadness, even grief, because of the pain of that loss or that heartbreak. And often our first instinct when our emotions are starting to run out of our control is to try and almost put those emotions in a chokehold. We don't want them to be interfering with our lives. We just want to be happy. We just want to get on with things and we just want everything to go back to the way that it was. We don't want to feel those emotions of sadness, of grief, of heartbreak, of loss or whatever other emotion you might be feeling due to your breakup. But there is no quick fix to any kind of emotion. Ultimately, you feel the way that you feel and denying that or trying to move past it in any way is not going to serve you in the most positive way. Ultimately, what's going to happen is you're just going to pack that emotion down and over time it is going to intensify and it is going to manifest itself in other ways in your life as it did for me. It manifested in a drinking problem for quite some time. Uh, that was how I buried my emotions about my first major breakup. So I encourage you to really listen to your emotions, maybe even write them down in a journal, just really how you actually feel about everything. If you do feel heartbroken, if you feel betrayed, if you feel like you might never trust another person again, these are all valid feelings and ignoring them is not going to make them go away. So. I would encourage you to address those feelings, really look at them in the cold light of day, write them all down in your journal if you have one, or just have a conversation with yourself about how you're truly feeling, and then just accept those emotions as they are right now without wanting to change them. Change will happen over time. You cannot force yourself to feel in a different way. As I've said, the more you try to ignore your emotions or the more you try to just wrangle them under control, the more intense and the more potentially destructive they are going to be in your life. So the first step for moving on from an ex is to 
just address your emotions, accept them and really ask yourself how you're feeling and get all of that into the cold light of day so that you can actually work on the next steps and moving forward, moving on with your life. When it comes to accepting your emotions, the key is self-love. And it might sound weird that you should love these emotions that are oftentimes viewed as quite negative and quite destructive, things like anger and sadness and grief and loneliness. But ultimately, every single one of your emotions is a vital part of who you are. And denying those emotions or hating them or wanting to get rid of them is basically exactly the same as not wanting your right hand or your left leg or something like that. Every single emotion that you have serves a purpose and you have to accept it and address those emotions from a place of self-love because not loving even one part of yourself means that you are not loving the whole of yourself. And the next thing that I wanna share with you is that there is no pressure to get over someone quickly, or at the very least, there is no real pressure because there is an obvious societal pressure that says that we should grieve for a certain amount of time and then move on, but no one can tell you how you are meant to feel or how long you are meant to feel that way or how intensely you should feel those emotions because what has happened to you is a hugely personal thing and you have to address it in a way that means the most for yourself. So when I say there is no pressure for you to get over someone quickly, I mean that for yourself. Some people might try and pressure you to move past this person as quickly as possible, but ultimately take all the time that you need. You do have to let go of that person eventually, but nobody can tell you exactly how long that is. It is entirely dependent on you. My only rule of thumb would be if you find yourself starting to fixate on that person to the detriment of the rest of your life, then come back to the first step of addressing your emotions and accepting them with love so that you can move forward with your life at a time that you are ready whilst not becoming fixated on this other person. It's a mistake that I found myself in for quite some time where I just fixated on the girl from that first major breakup and it didn't allow me to move forward for a very very long time but as I was able to address my emotions and how I felt about it I was able to move on over time. Ultimately my best advice for you when it comes to rebuilding yourself after any kind of breakup is to continue working on yourself and continue working to accept yourself and your emotions and your feelings and what you want and what you desire from life and working towards your ultimate goal, trying to become the best version of yourself. And ultimately through becoming the best version of yourself, you will attract more people into your life. You will attract those amazing relationships into your life and you will become the person that you've always wanted to be. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you have found that useful. I hope you found it helpful. If, if you have done, make sure to leave a like on this video and to, of course to subscribe to Freedom Through Confidence as well because I'm putting out videos like this on a weekly basis. So if you have found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts and feelings are in the comment section down below. If you have any questions as well, I'm more than happy to answer them. But Otherwise, thank you very much for making it all the way to the end of this video and I look forward to seeing you in future videos here on this channel very soon.